a little while on the last pick right there. He's saying, look, we got 60 seconds. We want something. He started on the bottom side of the map. Those wards spotting him go to double goal. Potentially lost a tray. Flash forward. The flame misses. Zuno is off to the side. He gets knocked up into the air by Dandy. But he's going to be able to get a cleaning. Ignite is ticking. It does look like he survived thanks to the potion. And he's falling further and further behind. Dade's in trouble. Mancloud doing the best he can to trade. Ignites have gone backwards. Mancloud has 1v1. Picked up first blood. They're going to be able to single out Daddy. They're going for it. Assault and battery slams Daddy into the ground. Here comes Shen. Stand United is up. Vault breakers forward. Denting close. But that doesn't manage to land the taunt. Psycho Sid's Ignite will be enough to close it out. A flash away from Smithy as another charm goes wide by Mancloud. Now Spur Rush is not available, nor is there a flash. The poison is ticking and Looper is running loops around Mancloud. The poison's going to be enough to pick it up, but that's a lot of damage onto Dandy. If there was a little more in kill lead over his opponent, the early spirit message kept him from doing much of anything. Oh, a great charm there onto Dandy Mancloud. Spirit rushes away. Here comes Stand United. There's a teleport in from Singe Looper. Wants to get involved in the fight. Smithy's going to be in trouble. The charm is going to delay Mata, but it's not going to be enough. Their own lanes with teleport down. That might be rough. This could be a catch in the city. Prop Ghost. So it's man, man. See who they're going to fling forward. A very nice taunt's going to hold Looper in place. Orbit Deception goes up by Mancloud. He does get caught. Fling. Rooted. The bounce goes back and forth. That's another kill for Looper. Sid is able to pick up a kill onto on his team, and I believe in the game overall. But here comes the gang for Smithy with a bottom lane. Salt and Battery throws down. That's a double crescendo. That's exactly what Vulcan needed. They picked up the kill onto Mata. Exhaust is now worn off on him, and he's doing the best he can to hammer away. Dandy is trucking away. He does not want to get involved in this one, and Vulcan will be able to pick up two kills for zero. Ward for Vulcan. Oh, we do see Jarvan comes Ooh. in. Doesn't manage to smite it. Not used. Now he does have Flash available. He is going to use that to get over the... Dandy ganks to get pressure over this. Well, Mata and Imp are going to be able to secure the red buff there. Now Smithy is in a little bit of trouble. He slams Imp into the ground. The lantern is available. Imp takes a ride in the dark passage. Gets out cleanly. Now it's Smithy's in a little bit of trouble. Does manage to get taken out by that Ignite. Imp is now being jumped on by Mad Cloud. Should go down in the background. Zuna, Bloodwater, and Sid are on to Dane. He has been dropped. They now turn their attention onto Mata. He has now been dropped. That's a double kill for Bloodwater. The Taunt does manage to catch onto uh, Dandy as he flag and drags out to safety. While all of this is going on, Luke oh! in the top line, the true shot On fire cake. That was necessary to have him put pressure on the map. Mankow gets caught. This is exactly what he didn't want. Matt just secures the kill. You're going to get picks, and the only guy to get picks in this team is really the Thresh. You get the vision ward control you need. To this is now Ozone still trying to push. The most important member of Vulcan is dead. Oh, we do see a flake coming back. Now it's Smithy's going to throw himself in. Assault and batteries down. Crescendo does catch Imp on the back line. Shane is here. Now Zuna's joined the body. True shot barrage goes across. Zuna picks up the first. Teleport's coming down for Lupa. Let's see what he can do. Zuna with double buffs up. He's trying to control the fight. They've traded support for support as the ace in the hole slams down X Smith. Important for Sid. It'll let these guys push the mid turret down. But Sid, honestly, I feel like Vulcan he does best. And as a split pusher to deal with a split pusher, we'll see how this works. Does get caught up, rooted in place by that rune prison. Ignite is now ticking, but here comes Bloodwater. Crescendo is going to be up in a second. The question is, does he want to use it? Now we do see Sid is down. True Shot Barrage comes out. His daddy is dropped to below 200 HP. Mancloud is forced away out of the fight. Spirit rushes backwards. Doesn't have any more charges. As much as Ignite, I believe, picks up the last bit of damage. Now Zuna wants to try and clean up. He will get one onto the support, but he's taking a lot of damage from the Infinity Edge Zeal. Barrier has already been used. Used. Imp has Barry available. Zuna is looking for Dandy. Not going to be able to pick it up. And Imp gets the shutdown plus 500 gold. Now all of a sudden, Smithy's in trouble. He turns back, manages to dive onto him, breaks the Denton blows, but that's a double kill for him. Ace in the hole comes down. That does nothing to Psycho Sid. In the background, Smithy is going to slam Mana down into the ground. True Shot Barrage comes up. That's a three-man taunt. That is the first target as Mancloud. He's forced to run away. Stand United is now being channeled onto Mancloud's Uri. He should be able to back away for a few more seconds. A great taunt from, so uh, uh, from Sid is keeping Looper down, but the poison is going to pick up the kill. In the background, Imp continues to chase. Now Dandy wants to get on Psycho Sid. He has knocked him up in the air. Zuna goes forward. The death sentence lands onto Bloodwater. This is a messy fight from everybody. Mata plays them backwards. Piltover gets one. Dandy gets two. Psycho Sid's going to be number three. And Ozone ace. Thresh the entire time. Vulcan are sneaking the dragon, but they're going to get fought again. So Dragon's been picked up. Looper charmed up by Mancloud. It's going to spur rush. He gets flung backwards. 
third proc is going to be needed to get over the wall. Now Lupa turns his attention over to his smithy. Has now decided to teleport. He's teleporting up the lane. Zuna wants to be his target. He's turned backwards. A play onto Mancloud is going to get Rune Prison in place. Now Zuna is doing the best he can to get away. Smithy's running left. Zuna's running right. Zuna's down on the bottom lane. Dandy has caught him. Look for the knockup. This is the question. Pinkboard goes down for Vision Imp with some massive criticals. Another knockup from Dandy and they close it out. It's not over yet as now Dandy's been caught out. He's miles behind. He is sticking around in the jungle. Flashes away from the taunt. Sid is now forced backwards. You can see the Rune Prison holding him in place. Death Sentence. Is it going to land? That is the question. Is it going to connect? No! As time after time after time again. Man Cloud now 2, 6, and 3. Never able to make the plays now. Early lead wasn't able to capitalize, and now Bloodwater is caught. That's massive damage. Three bullets, four will be enough to close it out. Manage. Oh, we do see Insanity Potion has been drunk there by Looper. He's taken a lot of damage. He gets taunted up, but Sid, that's not the target you want. Imp is hammering away from the back line. Death Sentence goes out, doesn't connect. Xmithy eats the ace in the holes. You see, uh, uh, Sid does get dropped in the background. Stand United was not even used in that fight. Mankla's doing the best he can to fight, but Looper is just running through everything. Everybody, that's a third kill falls in Vulcan. They look good in some places, but not good in others. And right now, Ozone are going to be picking up their first win carrying Group B. Yeah, a little bit.